Hey guys, in this session, we're gonna be looking at how to get an equation of a straight line uh, in Desmos. So first up, we need a couple of points. So I'm gonna insert a table with a few points. So my first point is gonna be three, five, and my second point is gonna be six, nine. So what I'd like is an equation of a straight line that's actually gonna go through these two red points. Now normally what you do is you'd actually work out the gradient, uh, then put it in the equation of a line, and then work out what the actual equation of the line is. Now, the one thing that we do know is equation of a straight line is actually y equals to mx plus c. So we're gonna use that, but in a different way. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna model it. So instead of y, I'm gonna actually use y1 because that's what this table is. So y1, um, and instead of equals, I'm gonna use this symbol because this symbol is gonna actually approximate what the gradient and the y-intercept is. So instead of m, I'm just going to write m1. Now you might wonder how I'm actually getting this one uh, below in the subscript. You just type m and 1, and it kind of just automatically um, goes towards the subscript. So I've got x1, because the x1 is from the table here. And of course, I need the, I need the y-intercept. So I'm going to call the y-intercept c1. And there we go, guys. You can already see it. So you can see what the gradient of this particular line is, and you can also see what the y-intercept is. Okay, now what happens if I actually change these values? So let's say instead of five, I have it as four, then of course the gradient actually changes as well. So um, the other thing that you could also do is, right now these variables are actually uh, stored in, uh, so for example, m1 is always gonna equal two, and c1 is equal to negative three, uh, in this calculator. So if I was to go to the next line and I put an M1, as you can see, it's automatically doing 2. And if I do C1, it should show the negative 3. Okay, one other trick that I want to show you guys is how to actually create this line. So it only covers these two uh, red points. So it's between, the line is only between the two red points. Uh, and that's using the domain. So for the domain, I put open up my brackets and I want it between 3 to 6. So if I write in between three to six, I notice how it's not working right now. Now that's because in this equation here, you're actually using x1, but in our domain, we've put it as x. So it's important that we put that as x1. And when you do that, you actually end up getting the line between the two points. All right, guys, that's basically it in terms of how to get an equation of a straight line in Desmos. Thank you for watching.